Do you just want to build tools and not worry about where to find customers? Then you're ready to build zero work task bots and earn recurring revenue by helping your customers save time and money. Tired of doing high ticket discovery calls? Tired of the back and forth high touch service customization? Are you tired of starting over to find the next client every time you complete a project? Do you prefer to solve problems that apply to lots of businesses? Do you have a builder mindset and intuitively understand logical workflows? Do you just want to create solutions and have users come to you? You're in the right place if you want to create no-code task bots for social media lead generation, engagement, and connection. Let's see how you can create task bots for the marketplace like these current creators. Here are some of the creators already making recurring revenue from their task bots. How would you like to collect Facebook group members and engage with them in the DMs? What about initiating Instagram engagement? How about agency lead generation on Facebook? So if this looks like a fun playground for you because you love diving in and building with no-code tools like this, you are in the right place. Building blocks, tons of documentation, logic-based flow designs, are you ready to dive in and play? What type of zero-work task bot will you build and how much recurring revenue will you earn with your very own SaaS business? Join the zero-work task bot creators and start your creator app free trial today. In this video, I'll show you how to use the building block open link. Open link building block is on the very top on your right side. And uh, let's drag it to the workspace and I'll show you what the options are. The first option is enter static link. Entering static link means that the taskbot will open the link that you will paste here. So let's say I just want to open Facebook uh, website. Now clicking on run to run my taskbot and you see that the taskbot is simply opening the Facebook website and now closes it. The next option is select link from data table. That is if you have a data table where you already have links to pages or profiles. Uh, let me give you an example. Let me add a data table here to data pool by simply clicking on add data table. I'm going to add here data table where I had saved uh, or actually where my task bot saved uh, pages uh, from Facebook. And as you can see here, there are two uh, pages, Facebook pages that my task bot saved. Uh, this is by simply, I was simply searching for the keyword coaches and those were some of the first results that the task bot got. Now, let me select that data table right here plus the column where the link is, and that's the Facebook page link. And now if I run this bot, you will see that it will open the link from that data table. But as you can see, it opens the very first result, but it doesn't open anything else. This is because I need to add a building block called repeat if I want my task bot to actually repeat through the data table. Here I would need to select the option depends on the data table and then I would need to select the data table um, so that the task board will consider the number of rows inside that data table as the number of repetitions that it would make after that building block. All right now if I run my task board now you will see that it will open the first row then the second row and that's it because my data table contained only two rows. After that my task board is going to close the browser as usual. One more note I want to share is that uh, for many websites for example LinkedIn if you open profile links in rapid succession of just three seconds, after about 20 profiles, LinkedIn may uh, show you a message saying you've made too many requests. So to avoid this, simply add additional delay. Now, while you're building a task board, I do not recommend doing this because uh, this will make you wait a long time. It will be very slow. While you're building, use short delays. Once you're ready to make your task bot live, go for longer delays to enable safe automation. Also use our randomization option. This is where you can enter maximum value of let's say 300 seconds, which corresponds to five minutes. And this will make your task bot pick a delay time between one minute and five uh, minutes randomly 
so that the human behavior is simulated. This makes your task bots particularly safe and robust for social media. One last thing to be aware of is when you search for something on Facebook or LinkedIn to, for example, then save that public data to a data table, uh, there are two ways of doing it. So let's say you're on Facebook and you want to search for coaches and then you want to narrow it down to pages. Now you can set up your task board to do that. First enter coaches, then narrow down to pages. But a much more efficient way of doing it would simply be copying this link here and pasting it right there. Now you saved yourself the work of setting up five or six different building blocks that makes it more efficient, faster, and also more reliable. Same on LinkedIn. If you're searching for a certain keyword and you have also certain filters, uh, such as, for example, here, uh, what's the connection degree, location, etc. So set all this up first and then simply copy this link and paste it to open it directly with the search results. This will save you a lot of work. All right, and that's it. Thanks for watching.